Hi, it's Matt and Liz. And today we want to talk about another question that we get asked all the time is, okay, how much time does it take to do this, to, to, manage, own, yeah. to own and manage these online website portfolios? And that's a really good question as well, because you want to know where you're getting to and what the future is going to look like when you own this portfolio of website investments. So really it is actually a choose your own adventure. It's very like <laughs> property. So as you know, when you get into property, if you invest in a property that needs a lot of management and mm. a lot of time, when you're getting into that deal, you know it's going to take time. So if you're bought a like a boarding house where people need to pay rent every week and you need to manage all the people you know that's going to take a bit more time than if you bought maybe a factory unit that was on a long-term lease and you didn't have to do any renovations to or anything like that so websites are very similar um, when we go in and look for websites to buy that's when we're looking for okay how much time does it take to manage this thing so for some websites it might be you write a post once a month and you just make sure that the website's updated. So, so basically, that's something our tech team does. Yeah, for so basically, us. you have the options. You can go and buy websites that are very mm. active where yep. you need to do a lot of work on them and you can work on them daily if you want and you'll make a lot of money, okay? Mm. And if you like working from home and you want to do that as a full time job, um, that, that's great. Our personal strategy and preference, we, we have a range of websites. Some do take a lot more time and effort, but in general, the, for us, the, the yeah. goal always is, as it says on my shirt, freedom. So we're, we're about trying. <laughs> to buy as passive as possible websites and our best sites we say this to our clients you know people would, would be absolutely amazed our favorite sites we know we've got a winner of a website when we only have to work on it literally once a year okay <laughs> so now we might outsource um, certain jobs on the sites but even then once you get a really good website it's kind of we found it's kind of done once done forever it's especially set up. when you get your outsource that's the other thing too you need your um, outsourcers on board yep. and all they need to do is make sure that that website is maintained it's kind of like having your real estate agent maintaining your your um, property uh, they look after they make sure that it's all up they make sure that everything's running smoothly and that everything's updated and that's quite a simple thing to have checked each month or each week or whatever it is depending on how big and, the website is and in general for our sites for our more sort of passive or semi-passive sites basically the main role that then happens after that is just some regular content posted on there mm -hmm. and we outsource that of course okay we, we don't write the articles and generally we try and get it so that, that the ideal sites are ones where the content might be posted once a month or yeah. it could be once a week, but even that's pretty simple that's a job lot. to do. Well, the main thing, yeah, the <laughs> main thing that we prefer once a month or or even less, but yeah. once a month is is probably ideal when you get a good good site. Now, the main thing we want to want to point out here is these these I think people make this mistake. Websites can literally be parked. Mm. If something comes up in your life, like you want to go on holiday, or there's a sickness, or there's something you have to take care of, or you have to work really hard in your you know, daytime role, or in your daytime while, job, yeah. or in your other business, the great thing with websites is it's not like a job where you don't have to turn up every single day to be doing stuff with them. You can mm. literally just, you could have a site, and you just go, you know what, I can't work on that for the moment, I'll just leave it, and it just sits there. And you know, it's, you know, you know, ideally you should be working on sites, but the reality is we don't always work on our sites on a full-time basis at all, and you can literally park them. And it's not, it's not where you're having to be somewhere at nine till five. These are investments like real estate, they sit there, and you know, when you wanna work on them, you work on them. And the other cool thing is you might actually find, this is an amazing journey. In buying websites, we own websites that in topics that we would never have even dreamed of making oh, yeah. money in. And, and we've got students who've actually gone down paths that they never would have thought and got really into it and got really excited about it and made that website something really big and exciting. And that, passionate. That they're really yeah. passionate about it in. So it is, like we said, it's a real choose your own adventure. And that's what we love about this marketplace that you can make it as big or small or must work or as little work as you as you like. So that's the cool thing about buying and selling and renovating websites.